In this video, I will talk about category management and attributes framework. Category management entails the following generic category hierarchy management, specify purpose of category hierarchy, and procurement category hierarchy management. Attributes framework entails the following define attribute types, define attributes, associate attributes with procurement categories, and specify values for the attributes. So, now let's look at the generic category hierarchy management. A category hierarchy can be created using the standard new button functionality of AX2012. A category hierarchy can support any number of categories within it. The number of category nodes in a hierarchy is dependent on your business needs. The categories can be created in two different ways. One is manually by clicking on the new category node or an entire set of categories can be imported from a file. The supported file format is Excel. For each of the category nodes on the left navigation, we can capture certain information about them. For example, some standard properties about the categories. Then for each of the categories, a specific attributes can be captured. For example, here for components, I have captured a, an attribute called strategy. For each of the uh, categories on the left uh, navigation, we can associate commodity codes. This particular association is being used to derive the categorization of the products that will be submitted by the vendors through the vendor catalog import feature. Again, for each of the category nodes, category pages can be defined. Category pages allows you to capture any specific information that you would like to capture for the category. For example, for components, we may want to capture information such as employees are required to purchase a standard laptop and peripherals and refresh their laptops every three years. This is something you may want to expose to the employees at the time of uh, shopping or purchase requisition and this, this will actually help them uh, as a guideline while they are making purchases for the category components. Assigning project categories to these categories helps default the procurement categories at the time of creating a project for specific project categories. Now, once a category hierarchy has been created, the next step is to define a purpose for that particular category hierarchy. It can be done in two different ways. One is you select the category hierarchy in the list page and then click on the associate hierarchy type button or you can go back to the main area page and under setup you can click on category hierarchy types. For the purpose of this demo, I have already associated the category hierarchies with some purposes. The, the types of the purposes that we support out of the box are procurement category hierarchy, sales category and commodity code hierarchy. The third part of category management is the procurement category management. For each of the categories in the left navigation, for a specific buying legal entity, we would like to capture specific information such as products, product attributes, vendors, vendor evaluation criteria and groups, questionnaires, item sales tax groups, category attribute values, and category pages. And this commodity course is, is just a read-only tab. All right, so let's go through each of these tabs. So for example, for components, uh, I can actually uh, bulk categorize a set of products. For example, here for components, I can have keyboard, mouse, uh, different types of uh, live cams, etc. They have been categorized as components. Product attributes. It, the product attributes enables or defines the characteristics of the products that will be categorized under this category called components. I actually have added these three product attributes to this category. Vendors, this basically means that when you associate a vendor with a particular category in a specific buying legal entity, what this means is that the vendor is going to supply products or services for this particular category 
in this buying legal entity. Vendor evaluation criterion group enables the purchasing managers or the purchasing agents to evaluate vendors for the specific category using certain criteria. For example, here I have added a group called product development, which has a certain criteria like firmware design, hardware design, etc. Now the way the evaluation can happen is if you go back to vendors tab again, click on evaluation and for each of the criteria, criteria uh, the user can actually select a particular rating value. For example, we have 0 through 6 as the rating value. Now 0 is unknown which is we don't know what the rating of that uh, particular uh, criteria on could be or it may not be even applicable. So essentially it's 1 through 5. Now depending on the value that you select here, the we actually average do, do an average calculation for that specific group. So the moment I change the value from 4 to 5, we re, re, basically recalculated the average value to 4.5. Questionnaires. Questionnaires can be used to uh, at the time of vendor onboarding or at the time of uh, purchase requisition. Now at the time of vendor onboarding, uh, if a vendor is going to provide uh, products or services for a specific category, then the vendor will be presented with a set of questions that uh, he or she would need to fill out. Same with uh, purchase requisition. At the time of purchase requisition, the requester would be actually uh, allowed, actually the preparer or the requester would be allowed, uh, will be uh, prompted to answer uh, the questions that will be part of this questionnaire. Item sales tax group will be used uh, at the time of uh, purchase order to default the uh, purchases for this particular category. Category attribute values. This is something that I have actually added uh, at, the at the generic category uh, management form. Basically the idea is to capture some description about this particular attribute, category attribute that that they would like to share across you know like uh, the, the category managers the difference between product attributes and category attributes is that category attributes define the characteristics of the category whereas product attributes define the characteristics of the products now product attributes both product attributes as well as category attributes get assigned to the categories however products will inherit only the product attributes Category page. In the generic category hierarchy management form, we can define any number of category pages for a specific category. Now in this procurement category management form, user will be uh, allowed to select a specific category page for this category for a specific buying legal entity. Again, and as I said before, commodity course is just a read only view that we have provided here to give visibility to the category managers. Now let's talk about attributes. So attribute types. Attribute types is actually, uh, it has the following. It allows the user to define the data type, a currency, a unit of measure. It allows the users to specify bounded values and uh, an enumeration. So for example, like uh, color text domain is a, an attribute type that's already been defined is of type text, which is the data type text and it can have a fixed list. The fixed list can have values like red, blue, green. It's, it's a list of, it's a, it's a list of enumeration for that particular attribute type. Now, for example, for currency, if you look at the right side, uh, the data type is currency. And instead of a fixed list, where because fixed list does not make sense for a currency, we have enabled value range. Now, what this means is uh, you can specify the minimum and the maximum value, allowable value for that particular attribute type. Now, feet is another one where if you look at this, the, de the type is decimal, and we have actually have a unit of measure that can be defined for this particular attribute type and in this case it's actually feet. After the attribute types get defined, 
the next step is to go and define attributes so for example for currency currency attribute is of attribute type currency domain and at this point in time you can define the friendly name description help text and then you can always define a default value for that particular attribute so the benefit of this is that when the attribute gets assigned to a category we also carry over the default value the user can always override the default value which we will see in a bit but the intent is to simplify basically ease of data management so likewise for let's say let's look at the uh, height here for the feet domain uh, i mean yes for the feet domain the default value is let's say 6 feet here so again uh, the user can always change at the product level so the, the this is actually a good segue into the fact that we can go and look at how the attribute values can be defined for the products i'm going to filter put a filter here on microsoft so let's look at uh, microsoft our keyboard and i'm going to click on product attributes as you see uh connectivity has a default value of usb port operating system has a default value of windows 7 and likewise and at this point i have the option of overriding the value of the attribute connectivity for this specific product now if i go to mouse both mouse and the keyboard have been categorized as components so if you look at mouse mouse has the same set of properties with similar values like usb port actually the same values but for keyboard i decided to override but for mouse i decided to keep it as is however for, for the operating system attribute i decided to override the value with more than the what the keyboard i mean the more than the, what the values for the operating system is for the keyboard product so as you saw uh, the the category management has uh, basically entails uh, the following generic category hierarchy management specifying purposes of category hierarchies and procurement category hierarchy management attributes framework entails attribute types attributes associating attributes with procurement categories and specifying values for the attributes